I once invited Marlon Brando to a dinner party at my house, and he actually showed up. But he came in the back door, and the lady doing the cooking in the kitchen thought he was a delivery man. That's how low-key and unassuming Marlon always was in his off-screen life, as you are about to witness in one of the very few lengthy interviews he ever sat still for. Let's discuss just your, your personal feelings. Uh, you've worked in this business, in this industry for so many years, and have done so many things. As you look at what's happening now, or what's been happening in the last couple of years, how do you evaluate the output of Hollywood in terms of content, social relevance, and so forth? Well, David, they have, um, they used to have a saying embossed almost in gold in the front of every studio you went, in, you went into, which said, if you've got a, a message, go to Western Union. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is, after all, the movie business. It's the motion picture industry. Uh, am I bothering your focus by rocking back and forth? Okay. Well, one, one thing, though, how does this affect your participation in the movie business? How does this affect your career as an actor when you see all of this going on? Does it make you want to drop out, quit acting? Does it make you want to no, act no. in a different kind of picture? How does I, it affect I think, that? I th well, I've always tried to, in some, you know, perhaps hopeless or silly or ineffectual way, try to inject a, some kind of note into the pictures that I was, I was in. Some were real stinkers and, uh, you know, I spent most of the time in the business just doing pictures as a business. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. But in trying to select pictures, I've always sort of tried to shave it, uh, which I think perhaps is not enough at this time because we don't have enough time now. Population, the, the, the graph now of a population is on an exponential curve. I just learned that word the other day. <laughs> it means two times two is four, and four <laughs> times four is sixteen, six yeah. times sixteen. Yeah. That's exponential. Anyway, uh, we don't have that much time, so we can't fiddle around anymore. But how do you feel about your own life and your own career now? Do you feel like you have used it? Well, it's, and uh, I think that uh, I'm getting a little long in the tooth now, and I think the industry is too, and I think we're all getting philosophically uh, a little long in the tooth to be able to be playing games with something as potent as this instrument, mm -hmm. this uh, medium. So we've got to be, all of us, much more responsible, and we've got to listen to one another. Because if I just go on blabbering and uh, not listen to what you have to say, so you, you haven't interrupted me once here in this interview, mm -hmm. and I hope you'll keep that in. <laughs> 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 because. It's important for you to say, wait a minute, Marlon, because this is a time for dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's a time for the sound man. I don't know what your name is. Or we've, I forgot your name. That's Leroy. I think it's time for all you guys to interrupt. And, and this, we got a, we got a drop format. Mm -hmm. Marshall McLuhan's hair would stand on end if he saw what we were doing here. Because that's the thing we need to do, is to break format and to break formula so that... Uh, even while I'm saying something that you think is provocative and say, God, this is going to make a hell of a point in the show, or this is really interesting, we've got him going on. The hell with that. If somebody disagrees, then you've got to speak up. You've got to say what it is. He's got his glasses up peering at me through the camera, and he's got to say, hey, wait a minute, Marlon, I think this is wrong and that's wrong. Because if it isn't a world of dialogue and exchange between people, if it's just people like me pontificating and shooting my mouth off all the time, then we're in for a hell of a lot of trouble. we got to hear from everybody. But anyway, to interrupt you a moment. <laughs> oh, you're doing that on cue. Take that. Oh, there's coffee in there. I wasted it. Marlon Brando, a Hollywood icon of the first order.